Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> well, here's 2021 reunion. Cave Lake, we're about to go smash some trout. Where'd Juju go? He's got to take a dump or what? <laughs> <laughs> when we started this channel, too. you got a crap too. When we started this channel, it was crazy because it started as just, you know, a little family thing. And we were in Ely. The town of Ely is out by Cave Lake. And we saw at least three families that said that they are here because of our videos so appreciate that people that never fished before we got them out of the house they're out here having a blast this is life-changing stuff as soon as you start catching fish you get hooked it's just a good time man. <sighs> looks like i just woke up but we're out here at cave lake right now we're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing just wanted to stop by and look at the water it's been a little low here but there's always a lot of trout you can catch Good eating trout, I must say. We're also going to be hitting up Cummins Lake. Uh, that'll probably be a different video because there's a lot of pike there. And I really want to go down there and see if I can't snag one of those pike. We got my cousin Roman in the background there with Juju. Took him out here. Roman's going to throw all this back and look like an old man. It's low. Uh -oh. it's What do you think, Ju? It's probably better for the crawfish tonight, huh? Why, well, is ready? it shallower or what? Yeah, you'll be able to see more. Be able to you go wanna go sit in the sun or are you good in the shade? I'm gonna sit in the sun for a little bit. So this is Roman right here, my nephew. And uh, he's not a big time fisherman. How many times have you been fishing? Like five times. Like five times his whole life. And that's power bait, right? The secret, the most secret part of it is that little picture. And garlic right. sitting. So you get your ball, go ahead and roll it up in a circle like that, right? This one's kind of big. I should have did it smaller, but you push it into your hook. You compact it around your hook, and that's it. There's your bait. <laughs> There's your bait. This is a one and a half liter down to a weight, which is not really ideal for this, but doesn't matter. Yeah, it's don't bite anything. Cast it out there and just hold it. You know how to cast. Sometimes you could see him swimming out here, but it's too windy right Cast now. Cast it out into uh, that deeper area over there. <laughs> First guess. <laughs> you gonna say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to show you how to cast? Yeah, let it hit the bottom and then tighten it up. And then just hold it. Well, this is Cave Lake, and the water's low. What's the water temp like? Man, it's like clay right now, it's all muddy. Water's kinda, water's kinda, uh, it's not freezing and it's not warm, so it's probably like 70 degrees, 65. Need a net or no? Want me to net them for you? There he is right there. <laughs> I should have just flipped them out. I didn't want to know. Hey, you know what it was? Well, they're biting today. You let the pressure off. Yeah, but I was pulling. Dang it, Juju, come on. Roman with the hookup. That's the one you dropped. First fish of the year. First, oh, he just flipped it. That's what I should have done. Nice. Perfect. There you go. We've probably been fishing all day and we just get here and start catching. Uh, how'd that feel? Uh, yeah, you know, felt pretty good. Really hard to catch. Oh, you caught one? They're by in. Got my fast reflexes. Got it on the set. <laughs> there you go. So, so what do you have to say to all the fans just out there that are... I don't want that full. Hold them. You know what? You just you caught them. Go ahead. Hold, hold them tight. Yeah, put, put, <laughs> hold, put a finger in this gill then. Just weird. slide one. You can just hold them with one finger. <laughs> That's right. Next stop. Small fit. Throw me in a picture Man, too. Man, that thing's gonna taste good, good with butter though. I wanna yeah. catch a pike. Well, Look up. Alright, one, two, three. Well, gonna taste good yeah, with that's butter. a good one. You can tell that they're gonna be getting eaten when they've been in here for a while because their fins start turning pink. So I'll show you guys when I fall I am that this guy he's not gonna have white meat like the stalkers. He's actually gonna have a colored meat, and that's when they actually taste a whole lot better than just the regular stalkers. Oh, he slapped yeah, too. Hey Roman, you're gonna get the first bite of that buttered up trout, all right? Yeah. Juju gills. hooked up. Mm -hmm. Hold you on. Pull the gills up. You ain't got no help. You better flip them. Yeah. Hey, go let's too. go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a nice one. 
Oh, we're gonna have two sandwiches now. We're good. So I'm just gonna gut them really quick since we're already out here. We're gonna put the guts in a bag so we don't just leave them out here. Although there's plenty of crawfish, but gutted them in two seconds. These guys are gonna go right on ice and uh, ready to, to be cooked. There's our trout, first trout, roughly gutted. Right on ice they go, fill them up. That's how you get the best fish. How long have we been out here? 10 minutes. About 10 minutes. Juju and, and uh, Roman oh, hooked up already. So, let me see that trout, Juju. So with trout, they're about the easiest fish you can gut out there. You get a nice sharp knife like this one, you cut up his stomach, just like that. Then you see right here in their mouth, they got that little skin right there. Poke it in, poke it out the other side, and you cut. You stick your finger down their throat, pull straight down. And when you pull straight down, it comes out with all the guts too. Then they got a little bloodline in there. It's easy, you just get your thumb, dig it in there, and run it up. Then get some water, flush them. That's just a rough cleaning when we get back to the hotel or wherever we're gonna cook them at. You can go ahead and clean them out a little better. But he's gutted, ready for ice. So here at Cave Lake, they stock. They stock those little trout in here. Roman, how many fish have you caught in your life? Very many or no? Probably like 100. What's up? 100? Probably like 10. 10. Was that pretty cool? You put up a good fight? Not really, it's kind of easy. <laughs> so did you feel the bite and everything you set the hook? You yeah. just kind of reeled and he was there. I felt it. Awesome. Wait till you catch a pike later. They're way, way tougher. Oh, I want to catch a pike so bad. You haven't caught one yet, huh? These hooks aren't big enough though. Yeah, I've never caught a no, pike. No, we, we brought a bunch of stuff for pike too later. Uh -huh. Look at this beautiful scenery. If we came out here and didn't catch a fish, I'd still be happy. Look at this. Just out here to relax. Oh, almost fell in the water. It was the farther cast. Hang out, girl. Either that or I'm just good luck. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 that's a nice one. Nice, dude. Nice, looks pretty good. <laughs> nice work. Last time I had stuck my dang finger in there, something cut me. Something <laughs> cut. Nothing there that'll cut you unless there's an old hook in there. That just kills him so he doesn't flop away as you get him. After you clean him, hold him up real quick. Whoa. And then we'll just get him. He's got really good colors. Nice catch. Roman, you're nice. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> yeah. It was far. I told him right before I caught it, I was like, the fish should jump right where I caught it. Yeah, you cast like all the way out in the middle. He was saying, Literally less than a minute ago, this fish was over there thinking he's gonna get a food or something to eat, and now he's pretty much about to be eating in less than a minute. <laughs> no. You lost him. Oh that was a nice one. Lost it. All right, Drew, you're starting to show off. What's going on here? He's using a different line or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scented line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. All right, you're gutting this one. Yeah, that's a fatty. What's up? What the? He needs to fart at him. <laughs> yeah, he's pooping over there. Alright, dude, you're getting that one. Alright. Let's go see it. How many is that for you now, G3? Yeah. We're still you got two pole. more, then you're limited out. Roman should use Juju's pole. Right, go ahead, take it. Yeah, use his pole. He's using floral, that might be the difference. Thank you, Russian. QAD, you guys make good knives. This thing is a, it's a razor blade. Let me wash them off real quick. It's really sharp. Give me a little rinse. I don't want to get splashed. What if you would have swam away? What would you have done? He wouldn't have gone nowhere. His name gills <laughs> hurt. <laughs> but he would have swam out 10 feet. He'd have to snag him. Would have had that walk down his chunk. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like a name balloon. Nice work, Drew. Good job. Slipping. Oh, oh, he almost swam away. Dang, he's a swimmer. <laughs> nice work, dude. Fist bump for that one. All right, where do you want him? On the ice down there. Roman's sitting on it. Oh, and open the cooler. Yeah. Keep the pressure. Ten pounder. Ten pounder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roman, you got in this one, okay? That might be the longest one. Hold the knife the other way. 
Yeah, like that. Like, no, no, like a fork. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All the way up. Poke. Oh, there you go. Now through. It's easy if you hold this jaw, you know, with your other hand. Like, hook it with the finger. Like this. Other hand, bro. Yeah. And then pull straight down with the, on those guts. Straight down, straight down. There you go. Perfect. It See that hurt. black line in there? Yeah, just break that little layer of skin and rub it with your thumb. And then there you go. Wash them off. He's a survivalist now. <laughs> now you know how to survive. Nope. You're not nice. Bruh. Sweet. We need a couple more. It's like two sandwiches. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. We just left Cave Lake. We are headed to, what's that other one? Cummins? Cummins? Cummins Lake. It's about seven miles away. Look who we got driving. Crazy Jew. This dude, you guys have been watching him since he was about three foot tall. Now look, he's driving. We're on our way. We'll be there in, the way he drives, we'll be there in about 30 minutes for seven miles. Try to step on him. Go ahead, hit that gas. Let me see it one time. Hit it. Oh shoot, you better slow down. Get a ticket. <laughs> Now we're at Cummins Lake. That was a fast switch of pace, but let's get them big baits. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be throwing on some big baits and stuff, seeing if we can't catch a really big pike out here. It's windy right now though, but I'm gonna be throwing around some swim baits, big swim baits. I've heard of you know 20 pound pike coming out of here. We do have a video here before where I caught. Uh, I did a catch and cook on some of those pikes, so we're gonna see if we can't catch a few more. Do another catch and cook. Or walk through. There's little gates to walk through. Just walk around. So this is what I'm going to start out with today, big swim bait. Somebody just gave you a pike? That's that's how you get a pike without even casting once. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, the, these are an invasive species, so this guy over here caught it, it's illegal to let it go. So he was like, I don't want it, you want it? And I was like, we might as well make a hamburger out of it. Heck yeah, that's nice. And then don't even gotta catch one now. Yeah. Don't even so, gotta catch one though. There's one without even casting. I'm mm -hmm. gonna put them on ice. Oh, oh, oh! He's screaming drag. <laughs> 